on, c -c -c come on, go, go. C -c -c Hi, come I'm Jess from Official London Theatre, and today I am heading to the opening night of Be More Chill at the Other Palace. I am so excited. I've seen so much about the show, and yeah, it looks like it's going to be a good evening. I'm going to meet my friend Emma. She's going to come along for the ride, um, and we're going to go to the Other Palace beforehand to eat at their restaurant, which I believe is called the Other Naughty Piglets, just to kind of try out the food. Um, I'll be taking you guys all along with me, and yeah, I'll give you a bit of the London theatre experience, I guess. Um, I'm currently in Covent Garden in our offices, um, and I believe I just have to hop onto the Piccadilly line, and then 20 minutes, I'm at the Other Palace. It's time to go, so let's head. Let's save the pitiful children. This is my Hi. friend Emma. He is with us today. Where are we? The other naughty piglet. So dead. And where is that? On top of the other palace. What were you excited about? The free bread. <laughs> bread is on the house, guys. This is exciting times. <laughs> what are you having, Jess? I've got the mug fish. That's my original Ooh. party here. So now I've got. Which is uh, 23rd. <laughs> How are Emma's camera skills? <laughs> Comment below. What did you want to do? Uh, the pork belly. Lovely. Green is so bad. So, Jess, how was your food? Mm -hmm. It was really nice. Um, they're quite small portions, so it might be good to kind of have, have like a tapas vibe. And if you've got someone that has the same kind of like dietary requirements as you, you can both like get two dishes and share. The monkfish is really nice, and there's some mussels in there. Um, and now we're going to look at the pudding menu because I hear there's dessert. So we're now looking at the dessert menu. What dessert are you going to get, Emma? And I'm going to get the chocolate mousse, milk, ice cream, and the folletine. I don't know what that is, so I'm going to Google it. Um, maybe I can get that, you can get the donuts, and then we can have a bit of each other. Maybe we all can. Get yourself a friend who can share food because it is great. In our seats and we're ready to watch the show. What do you think of the set so far? Uh, very vibrant, very neon. <laughs> very chill. Very chill. Very chilled atmosphere in here. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So we'll see you at the interval for a little interval catch up. Okay, we're just in the interval. Thoughts so far, Emma? Um, I think it's really funny and I really like the music. Yeah, it's really great. I love the set, it's so colourful. Um, and the way that they've done it, um, obviously very like computerised and modern. Where's it gonna go? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Thank you. It's great. 
I kind of can't believe it. We had a really short rehearsal process, so it sort of feels like everyone's been like, you know, working nonstop for a few weeks, and now the fact that it's just open, it's sort of surreal. When, when you make a piece of theater, you hope that it finds an audience, and you hope that it resonates. And this is a piece that has resonated really loudly with um, with its audience. The audience is, it kind of feels like a rock concert in the best way. And it makes me so thrilled because it has the energy of like a show where you know the songs. You know, it has the energy of like a Mamma Mia or something. But these are all like original show tunes, you know, and I feel like people are like losing their minds. They're, like these weirdo songs about kids trapped in bathrooms, you know, and I, I feel like we've done good yeah. in that regard. I literally was doing it. I was that kid who was bullied from like year 7 to year 11. Um, but like, I always say that, but like, it, it made me want to be a creative. It made me want to like, break out the shell and prove people that I can be like, a cool kid and say it. And now I'm in the West End. Yeah. Hey, look at me. That's cool. Yeah. No, I totally was. And I totally also went on that journey that he goes on. Um, I maybe didn't have a script, but I had friends who told me what to do. And my mum and dad. And, Many people who didn't really quite understand what I was going through trying to help me. And if some advice was better than others. And I maybe took all of the advice and maybe ignored some that I sh should have taken. And it may be who I am. So Jeremy also becomes who he's going to be. And he's going to be, where if he looks back, he'll be so happy he went through. Yeah, it's really nice. I feel like the moral of the story is basically being yourself and that's mm -hmm. all you really want from a show, yes. especially when it's a show that's reaching out to young people. I think that really yeah. is such a positive message. Good old Emma. <laughs> I just, you know, she's just come along. She doesn't work for us or anything. <laughs> and she was being the camera woman and I honestly think she did a great job. Well, so thank you very congratulations much. Congratulations to you. Thank you. If you want to see Be More Chill, then it's at the other palace. Um, make sure you get your tickets at officiallondontheatre.com and let us know what you thought. See you later.